Hare Krishna, everyone. Can you all see my screen and hear me? Yes, Prabhu. Yes. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Narayanam Namaskrityam. Narayanam Namaskrityam. Naran Chaiva Narottamam. Naran Chaiva Narottamam. Devim Saraswati Vyasam. Devim Saraswati Vyasam. Tato Jaya Mudirai. Tato Jaya Mudirai. Nasta Praya Suvadresu. Nasta Praya Suvadresu. Ityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Ityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Bhagavati Uttama Sloke. Bhagavati Uttama Sloke. Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki. Bhakti Bhavati Naistiki. Reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is, chapter 12, titled Devotional Service, and the verse number is 9. Atha chittam samadhatum. Atha chittam samadhatum. Nasak no shimai stiram. Nasak no shimai stiram. Abhyasa yogina tato. Mam Icha Tum Dhanam Jaya Mam Icha Tum Dhanam Jaya Atochitam Samadhatum Atochitam Samadhatum Nasak no Shimaistiram Nasak no Shimaistiram Abhyasa Yogina Tato Mam Ichaptum Dhananjaya. Mam Ichaptum Dhananjaya. Any propositions? Atachitam Samadhatum. Atachitam Samadhatum. Samadhatum. Nasak no she may stiram. नासक्नोषिमाइस्तिरम् Nāsaknosimāistiram Abhyāsa yogena tato Abhyāsa yogena tato Mām ichātum dhanam jaya Mām ichātum dhanam jaya Atha chittam samādhātum Atha chittam samādhātum Nāsaknosimāistiram Nasakno see my theorem. Obyaso yogena tato. Obyaso yasa yogena tato. Mam ichatum danan jaya. Mam ichatum danan jaya. Word by word meaning. Atha, if therefore. If therefore. Chittam mind. Chittam mind. Samadhatum to fix. Samadhatum to fix. No, not. No, not. Saknosi, you are able. Saknosi, you are able. My upon me. My upon me. Stiram steadily. Stiram steadily. Abhyasa yogena. Abhyasa yogena. By the practice of devotional service. By the practice of devotional service. Tata then. Tata then. Mam me. Mam me. Icha desire. Cha desire. Aptum to get. Aptum to get. Dhananjaya, O winner of wealth, Arjuna. Dhananjaya, O winner of wealth, Arjuna. Translation by His Divine Grace, Esi Bhakti Vedan, Swami Prabhupada, Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. My dear Arjuna, my dear Arjuna, O winner of 
wealth. Oh, oh winner. winner of wealth. If you cannot fix your mind upon me, if, if you, you can, cannot, you fix, cannot fix, fix your mind, mind upon, upon me, me, without deviation, without, without deviation, then follow the regulative principles of Bhakti Yoga. Then follow the, follow the regulative principles of Bhakti Yoga. yoga. In this way, in this way, way, develop a desire to attain me. Develop a desire to attain me. Any Prabhuji would like to read this page? In this verse, two different processes of Bhakti Yoga are indicated. First, applies... no, no Prabhuji, no Prabhuji. I'm sorry, you are in the page two. Okay, I'm sorry. I may have got it wrong. That's correct, right? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Sorry. In this verse, the two different two different processes of bhakti yoga are indicated. The first applies to one who has actually developed an attachment for Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, by transcendental love, and the other is for one who has not developed an attachment for the Supreme Person by transcendental love. For this second class, there are different prescribed rules and regulations one can follow to be ultimately elevated to the stage of attachment to Krishna. Bhakti Yoga is the purification of the senses. At the, pres at the present moment, in material existence, the senses are always impure, being engaged in sense gratification. But by the practice of Bhakti Yoga, these senses can become purified and in the purified state, they come directly in contact with the Supreme Lord. In this material existence, I may be engaged in some service to some master, but I don't really lovingly serve my master. I simply serve to get some money and the master also is not in love. He takes service from me and pray and pays me. So there is no question of love, but the spiritual life, one must be elevated to the pure stage of love. The stage of love can be achieved by practice of devotional service performed with the present senses. Thank you, Prabhuji. <clears throat> Anyone else would like to read this other page? Uh, this love of God is now in a dominant state in everyone's heart. And their love of God is manifested in different ways, but it is contaminated by material association. Now the heart has to be purified of the material association and the dormant natural love for Krishna has to be revived. That is the whole process. To practice the regulative principles of Bhakti Yoga, one should under the guidance of an expert spiritual master, follow certain principles, one should rise early in the morning, take bath, enter the temple and offer prayers and chant Hare Krishna. Then collect uh, flowers to offer to the deity, cook foodstuffs to offer the deity, take prasadam and so on. There are various rules and regulations which one should follow and one should constantly hear Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam from pure devotees. This practice can help anyone to rise to the level of love of Godhead. Then he is sure of his progress into the spiritual kingdom of God. This practice of bhakti yoga under the rules and regulations with the direction of a spiritual master will surely bring one to the stage of love of God. Thank you, Prabhuji. Let's all chant together. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya yeah. Chakshur Maritam Yena Tasme Sri Gurave Namo Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayang Rupa Kadam Ayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Sri Guru Sri Guru Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamsha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Saganaragunatam Vitam Tamsa Jeevam Sadvetam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Shagana Lalita Sri Vishaka Vitamsha Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Prasavana Sutay Devi Pranamami Hari Kriye Panchakal Pataru Vesha Kripa Sindhu Vaya Vacha Patitanam Pavanevyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namo 
ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವಾಸ್ ಆದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ್ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ನೀಲಾಚಲ್ ನಿವಾಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾಯ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ಬಲಭದ್ರ ಸುಭದ್ರಾಭ್ಯಂತರನಾಥ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಂಗ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಮರಣಂ ವಿತ್ ಮನನಂ ವೇರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಂಗ್ ಪುಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪುಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಮರಣಂ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಚ್ Krishna is giving a very practical view of how to attain him. So he's saying, Atha Chittam Samadhutam. You, you have to fix your mind. But sometimes when you fix your mind, it's not possible because you're getting distracted. There is sound. There is so much of internet. There is so much of, uh, you know, lack of focus. <clears throat> Krishna is saying, Nasak Nosi Maistiram. And your mind is agitated. And then Krishna is suggesting that do ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಯೋಗಿನಿ ತತ್ವ ಮಾಂ ಇಚ್ಛಾಪ್ತು ಧನಂಜಯ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಯೋಗ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಯೋಗ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಶಿಯಲಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ದ ದ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ರೆಲಿವೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏಜ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ you know you'll do some exercise but after doing the exercise where you're basically taking the 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 physical exercise of doing the 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 air breathing and this is are all these are all good it essentially purifies you from a body level but here krishna is talking at the level of mind in the mind itself you need to do some purification not at the physical level but at the mind level because minding the mind is the most complex thing in the world because mind is like a lava which is basically covered within the volcano and then when the mind is agitated the mind becomes rationalized the ma- mind become very difficult uh, they become uh, you know focus some of the people who have been brainwashed their mind becomes such that they tend to believe in very different things so it's the mind which is more important and lord krishna in bhagavad gita has spoken about controlling the mind so many times and we'll touch upon some two powerful verses in the next slide but here krishna is saying if you cannot focus your mind with smaranam or mananam then you have to focus in doing some practice as you can see uh, and and what kind of practice you have to do abhyas yoga you have to do some abhyas so the abhyas yoga is all about shila prabhupads or our founder acharyas or the prior acharyas on the gaudiya vaishnava parampara is to be regulated regulated is essentially giving you the external thing but at the end of the day we have to chant we have to abhyas unless we do abhyas a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab we will only remember till 12th or till engineering or our masters but after you work for 20 years you forget what a plus b whole square is you'll remember you'll uh, you'll you'll remember maybe it is a square plus b square but the 2ab how the multiplication is happening we forget when you basically attain the age of 50 or something so the abhyas is essentially is what krishna is saying without abhyas without practice nothing is successful even in our material like most of the time we are uh, sort of some of the some of you who are probably not coding in your it profession and now uh, if there is a need to really crunch some numbers and you need to code then because of the lack of practice you don't know where to go you have basically left the thing so krishna is saying you have to do abhyas if your mind is agitated you are not able to focus your mind so that's why when people say i can focus my mind mind is the most difficult things to control today mind is 
here day tomorrow mind is in uh, within a second mind is in india and day after if your mind is in a mode of goodness it will probably go to a dham if the mind is probably in, uh, in the mode of material nature you look for stock how it's performing and you will see that there is so much of bloodbath in the stock market and then it will get you depressed so so what krishna is saying is this yogic practice abhyasa yogena this this process of devotional service has to be inculcated in us an ability to get up take shower chant our rounds go to the temple attend mangala aarti then uh, eat uh, the, the remnants uh, of the lordships as krishna prasad or jagannath prasad or gor prasad and then uh, then basically build this that's why the devotees who were full of unhappiness they were hippies in shila prabhupada's time they by virtue of just doing practice they did not understand ramayan mahabharat like how many of people from india the background from india they are but they just followed the process of abhyas godable and they become such pure devotees you would know them all the time they are essentially our gurus they shila prabhupada whatever they had no knowledge of the vedic culture shri prabhupa told them to do this just do practice 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 so as in you can see in cricket when a bowler is bowling he is actually bowling to one stump so that he can bowl and hit the stump so that when he can bowl and hit the stump one stump then there's a very good chance that he can bowl and hit three stumps how to really swing the ball around the stumps how to stay and when a person is batting as you can see you have basically three wickets but when you're playing the game of cricket you generally don't know where your off stump is so that's the reason why when they practice they put additional stumps so that you know where your off stump is you're not making the movement which is wrong so it's the practice practice can get us everywhere practice can get us a practice makes a man perfect unless we do the practice right abhyasa yogena krishna is saying right this verse unless we do that unless we do the practice of bhakti yoga we will never be successful so so the only way to reinforce faith like say for example pratap rudradev who was the king of odisha he was constantly devoted to chaitanya mahaprabhu and he was constantly thinking about krishna and lord jagannath and he got that from his prior generation his prior generation is purushottam dev and you have heard the beautiful kanchi abhijan story with purushottam dev and padmavati it is because in the 12th 13th 14th century in uh, the land of uh, many places in india it's yadya acharati shrestha right whenever the king or everyone at the top leads you through a spiritual path everybody the entire subjects were in a spiritual path they were all see the entire kingdom in the 12th 13th 14th century in in that part of india eastern part of india and even in southern part of india and many different parts of india were focused on recognizing who we are and who we came from and what is the relationship with the supreme personality we came from once that is dovetailed into the consciousness of the kings they eventually end up becoming top devotees and the subjects of the township or the kingdom were amazing personalities there were hardly any crime they were all focusing on the righteousness so it's is the practice the ability to practice and so that practice what we call is nothing but sadhana bhakti you we should always get into the act of sadhana bhakti and here the sadhana bhakti is manifesting as abhyas rupa bhakti that means with practice with abhyas 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 first you will not have faith in chanting then you start chanting then you start chanting regularly then uh, when you are chanting in the temple in front of uh, the supreme personality of god it you start moisturing your eyes you start crying that's when your ruchi or your love in chanting increases and when you chant you focus you put your mind attention into the supreme when your mind and 
attention is focused you just not do well in spiritual path you will do well in mechanical path in your material path in your day to day life you will put your focus in your family life and you will take care of your family better so so this ability to have abhyas or sadhana bhakti will nurture all the aspect it will give us the medication it will recharge our batteries to do well in our material lives so that's where the mind is very difficult the only way we can control the mind is to through the process of abhyas a practice makes a man perfect and through that we connect and when we connect we contribute and then we bring clarity in our thought process more and more we hear shla prabhupad in the purport says the 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 practice has to do with hearing regularly hearing bhakti vriksha regularly or our morning shrimad bhagavatam program from 6:30 to 7 we are doing systematic study of bhagavat shrimad bhagavatam now we are in the 16th chapter of third canto and here jay and vijay are being coached by the four kumaras and um and the prabhupad is saying more and more we hear it brings clarity and when we do that we don't focus on our fame we focus on values so on that what i just want today i, I happen to go to a place where there's a person waiting for the uh, parking lot uh, space and i was behind the behind her but i had no interest in taking the parking lot because her access to the parking lot which is free is convoluted and she is focused totally on grabbing that parking lot she she is waiting she cannot take a u turn to get there because there are other traffic uh, around but she is not letting uh, the cars behind uh, go so what that means is when you are totally focused on the self you don't see the bigger picture of the goodness actually if the person lets everyone go who are not waiting for the parking lot it will be much better because a lot of people are waiting and there is a lot of backlog so the in, the point i'm trying to make is when you're focused too much on self you do not see the bigger picture of giving up sharing contributing contribution is a thing which gives us happiness all the time and whenever we give we are more happy than when we take and once you realize that you feel like doing devotional service getting up putting these things into practice and whenever we practice and do something for others it gives some more happiness so um, and and in bhagavad gita krishna uh, in terms of minding the mind has given this two very powerful verses manam manana bhava mat bhakto madhya jivam namaskur that line is common between 9.34 and 18.65 the only the second line is different mama evashashik itta vai vam atmana mat parya parayana and the second line is manmana mat bhakto madhya jivam namaskur mama evashashityam te pratijane priyosime so as you can see krishna krishna is emphasizing on always think of me become my devotee offer your homage on to me just this mind it's all about mind the if you focus your mind on the spiritual path everything else will dovetail around it and you will gradually feel more happiness and that's exactly people who have joined the krishna conscious movement shri um, prabhupad says they were very unhappy they were actually hippies before and now he has turned all the hippies into happies so can go on and on but here how to practice the mind to do something for the supreme that is actually being covered here and we have to recognize that more and more we put spiritualism as a practice is not a theory it's actually fold your sleeves and start working on the aspect of chanting serving cooking uh, distributing uh, helping and that gets into a consciousness we feel happy and that will all dovetail 
in various different things we end up doing, which will also help in our material life. But once we become more and more uh, bhakti oriented, we'll realize that how less valuable this personal fame uh, is. And you start thinking about doing something, the sense of volunteerism, which is not that because everybody is looking for a position and the sense of volunteerism is such a powerful thing because when volunteers do not have a start date and end date, all these positions have a start date and end date. That's the reason why the sense of volunteerism or abhyasa is eternal. That will stay with us forever. And uh, as Krishna is saying, more you, we do abhyasa yogena, that's how you can come to me. So with that, I'd like to end here. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Hare Krishna, any question or comments you have, we can discuss. Otherwise, we can end here. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Hare Krishna, everyone. Any comments, Prabhuji? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Good one. The, 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 what I learned is generally our mind is uh, always fickle mind, right? So here in this bus, uh, it, it is the alternative is given. How, how we can attain the um, how the you are doing by doing certain uh, certain things, how you can do the same thing if your mind is not focused to the Lord. That's exactly. the alternative. That's good actually. Yes, yes. So, so practice, as you might have seen, the wonderful uh, pastime when uh, Dronacharya is uh, teaching Arjuna. Arjuna comes to a point when, because Arjuna is Gudakesha, you we have talked about it, and in the night he used to practice. He never used to sleep, so he used to control his sleep. So he was always in knowledge acquisition, always practicing, and and he would he used to shoot in dark so that he can hear where the bird is coming and he can practice. So a, a time came with so much of practice, he became so powerful that he could only see the target and nothing else. Others could see periphery around the target, but he could see the target and nothing else. And that is only possible by Arjuna's determined abhyasa practice. Practice makes a man perfect. And by gradually chanting, we will... Uh, Sometimes we do not have a good mood. We our chanting doesn't go doesn't go well. Uh, we realize that that is really uh, spilling over to our other parts. So when the chanting is good, and you spent the morning time hearing about Shrimad Bhagavatam, it really helps you. You don't feel low, and it has some very positive impact uh, in our lives. So thank you for sharing that. Any other thoughts? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, then with Prana Maharaj Guru Shri Sumatra. Thanks for enlightening lecture, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Um, same point which um, I wanted to reiterate. The practice here, we um, we start with the practice. Um, as in English, there is a saying, right, Prabhuji? There is a, there is a it's not saying if we practice for 21 days, uh, they say it becomes your habit. Right, there is a there is a theory like that, okay, which is quite verified theory. Um, that um, if we do for 21 days, that's why even you see in India, they ask you to do on the religious spiritual side, they ask you to do so many days, like 30 days, 40 days, whatever that is to get you habituated to that. So, Krishna is uh, trying to tell us that do the practice and. Um, we can start with the material practice, Prabhuji, whatever, um, whatever is in the need of the hour for your survival. But at the same time, we will, by practicing and if we keep, keep Krishna with dotailed, uh, then it becomes a spiritual also, Prabhuji. That, that material thing graduates into a spiritual practice also. Prabhuji. And that gradual spiritual practice will also bring close to Krishna then you'll really do real chanting. You'll do real, you'll try to scrutinizingly study the scriptures and you'll try to really establish our relationship with Krishna Prabhuji. So, um, uh, 
the what i want to tell is that these are not different prabhuji the the practice which we do for our regular day to day living will eventually graduate into spiritual practice if krishna is uh, we try to dovetail ourselves with krishna we graduate and we even we won't even know that we have graduated like this bro it's a very very smooth trajectory i'm saying into the spiritual practice which is what krishna is trying to give us he is saying start with this but you learn it will you will grow in exponentially that's the point i think it's the same what you all told prabhu ji but i wanted to give the perspective yeah very nicely put prabhu you said if you practice something for you know uh, uh, 20 days or 21 days it becomes a habit and that's so true uh, and once uh, uh, it uh, gets into our consciousness as a habit it be- makes us uh, makes us think that it's part of our ecosystem and we end up doing that right. so then when you don't do that it becomes out of place so it's always good to inculcate good habits uh, and uh, as krishna is saying abhyasa is also a yoga practice and that's mm-hmm. the reason why in the prior days the munis and rishis used to stand or sit meditate meditate on so many things it's all practice and we just have to take our uh, parampara and uh, uh, parampara's views and just start thinking about chanting regularly and that becomes a practice and that goes a long way in imbibing that sound vibration in our lives Yes, Prabhuji. What I wanted to uh, convey is, Prabhuji, that the the material practice is a subset of the spiritual practice. Prabhuji, it is a subset of that. So, if we do this automatically, we start doing spiritual practice also. But of course, we we have to keep Krishna in the center, Prabhuji. Then only it becomes a spiritual practice. Otherwise, this practice may lead us to ego and all those things that I I acquired knowledge, I acquired position, I acquired um very, very um proficiency in this that goes in a different direction prabhuji the practice which we are doing which we have started doing uh, and this practice also comes because of the sukruti prabhuji it is not that suddenly um i can start and chant a 16 rounds right prabhuji we have to our consciousness evolves to do the 16 rounds as we all experience prabhuji so but to get you started he says okay you do your abhyas whatever you are supposed to do your swadharma right in that you start first by practice and if you try to keep me in the center without expecting results then you will start the actual spiritual practice where we establish the relationship yeah hari krishna hari krishna thank you any other comments questions thoughts Hare Krishna Prabhu ji and Dhanda Bhattana all glory to Srila Prabhupada nice class yes, Prabhu ji yeah nice class Prabhu ji yeah it is the it is the mind Prabhu ji also like you know it is part of the subtle body right so when we transmigrate it is the mind like you know it will be carry forward to the next body right so and also like in eight uh, eight uh, verse right so Krishna Lord Krishna says right like uh, you have to remember only me at the time of you know death okay then only you will so until unless we practice right to uh, remember krishna then it's very difficult right at the time of death you know, to remember uh, because we have so many things are going on and i was attending one of the class uh, amrinder prabhu uh, he was saying that uh, every you know 10 or 15 minutes say at least you know hari krishna one ma mantra okay every 15 minutes okay in a day right so if you do uh, if you are in a meeting let's say you are not doing any anything right then you know uh, silently you you know with, with the tongue actually you start you know um, chanting hari krishna maha mantra so basically he was saying that you know don't waste any any time okay and uh, every 15 minutes whatever you did actually that 15 minutes uh, you know you say that uh, you uh, thanks krishna that you know whatever i did is uh, is for you krishna so he was saying that every 15 minutes you know chant hari krishna maha mantra once okay so if you do that then automatically you know your consciousness will it will be kind of habit right if you make it if you practice this every 15 minutes one time hari krishna maha mantra then it will be kind of after some days it will be kind of become habit okay right 
so whenever you automatically your tongue will you know your mouth will automatically chant okay whenever you will sit idle and whenever you are driving car you are not doing anything right so exactly very nice very nice very nice bro this uh, this is a very good technique you are uh, you are mentioned uh, and this techniques are very very important in our consciousness and we learn from uh, you know bhakti vriksha or our association and uh, saying hari krishna once in 15 20 minutes uh, reinforces that commitment of our connection because you are uh, uh, you're, you're calling out to the lord's names and who knows when what will happen but uh, the calling out frequently is a way to get our relationship with the supreme active all the time any other thoughts also prabhu ji these these verses prabhu ji they are they are like kind of your release strategies prabhu ji really and what i mean to say is that krishna starts with that okay try to remember me always okay if that is not possible that's also fine then next do at least try to do abhyas right now if you see the next next verses prabhu ji he gives you okay if that is also not possible do this thing so he is giving you a plenty of choices prabhu ji pick any of these and try to do basically he is giving he knows that what will be involved in because this is timeless this wisdom prabhu ji so according to our situation he has given you all these choices prabhu ji so as sure. prabhu ji has mentioned that if you can't remember 24 by 7 by 365 okay remember in 15 minutes right that's what prabhu ji was explaining that remember in 15 minutes at least you will stay tuned right that is what uh, if if you cannot do this then he says that do the work without next verse i think he says do the work without any expectation right and if still you cannot do the work without expectation do something he like that he he gives you a strategy prabhu ji and you can do whichever suits you exactly so this uh, this group of verses starting with 8 9 10 11 is exactly what uh, uh, krishna is saying and we can only uh, do that uh, through uh, the process of systematic study and then so it basically tells us the steps if you can do work for me finally uh, finally just yeah so so there is a wonderful uh, segue i think we saw the picture as well last time so we will uh, thank you bro ji that's a good point this in this series of four verses krishna exactly does the sequence again any other thoughts so if there is none we can end here bro so that Can Sorry, Prabhuji, I didn't join late. We had some 800 boxes of delivery, so we went to deliver that, Prabhuji. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that wonderful service. It's amazing <laughs> that when you <laughs> serve, there is an element of... So the credit all goes to the preparers. I went in the end and just delivered, Prabhuji. I did the last step. <laughs> I, so I didn't do much effort, Prabhuji. Yeah. Thank you. So let's end here. by paying obeisances in the lotus feet of all the vaishnavas vancha kalpa charu vesha kripa sindhu vai vacha patitana pavane phyo krishna vai phyo namo namo vaishnava rind ki jai bhagavad gita ki jai shlok upad ki jai gor premanande hari hari